Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. My name is Sue Garwood, and this week in history, we're going to be talking about Era Barton. Era Barton was born on the 12th of April, 1824, in New Hampshire. He came, he and his wife came to the area in 1857, actually in the Randolph area, where they became farmers and raised wheat, among the first to do that in the area. He joined the um, Union during the Civil War, and first with Company D and then later with the Cavalry Union, and was honorably discharged in 1863, at which point in time he became a lawyer and he and his wife moved to Northfield. Uh, during their time period in Northfield, uh, ERA ran for the legislature, both in 1870 and 1872, was successful in both times. In 1873, he ran for governor and he wasn't successful there. But the reason that he is called our attention is that what happened in 1875. In 1875, Era Barton was elected to be Rice County Sheriff, and a position he held for 11 years, and there were a lot of Rice County Sheriffs that did that, but what was significant was what happened his very first year. Reading from his obituary that I printed out from the Delby database, a story that will, or a topic we'll cover at another time, I will read that it was during his term in 1876, the famous raid of the Younger and James Gang upon the Northfield Bank occurred. And Sheriff Barton, who had the custody of the captured desperados in Rice County Jail in this city, was a prominent figure in those exciting events of that time. We'll go into more detail about the James Younger Gang at another time, but it's neat to think about and to see the artifacts from that time. In fact, I'm standing in front of the ledger that was the prison intake ledger for Rice County, and here you can see Bob, Jim, and Cole Younger being entered in, and Era Barton's signature is right there. As I said, they, he held this position for 11 years, after which he retired and continued farming. He actually bought a, f a farm outside of Morristown, where he remained till the end of his life. I invite you all to come to the Historical Society to learn more about Era, about the James Younger Gang, or about any other Rice County topic. Rice County Historical Society, preserving the past for future generations.